Hello and welcome to the Game Shed. On this episode, I'm going to talk about the top five PlayStation 1 games. Number five. Robo Pit. It's a great robot fighting game where you can make your own robot and customize the weapon arms. And uh, not many people talk about this game. I don't think many people know about it, so it's kind of a hidden gem. But it's a great game and one of my favorites in the original PlayStation. It's also on the Sega Saturn, but I never played the Sega Saturn. Make a robot and show you one of the battles. You don't start, you don't get that many weapons to choose from at the beginning. Punch. You can also pick up objects like boulders and throw them at the other robot. So you can choose who you fight, and if you beat that robot in battle, you get to take one of their weapons. And this is a special robot, so it's kind of like a boss, and it's harder to beat. <laughs> and you are limited on ammo as you see that number 
31. That's how many crossbow groups I have left. Yes. One. <laughs> This game is so fun. As you can see, you get to select an enemy arm, so I can take the rocket. And then when I go to fight the next robot, I can change my arm. So you can punch one and rock it. Ready, fight! It has different stages, like this stage is in space. Yes, I knocked them off the edge. You win. You win. So then I can take one of that robot's javelins. Uh, I guess I'll save it and get on to the next game. Simple but catchy. And I'm playing these games on my PlayStation 3. That's what I love about the PlayStation 3. You can play PlayStation 1 games on it. And some PlayStation 3s you can play PS2 games. Okay, on to the next one. Number four, SmackDown 2. And I don't have the official case for it. But this is a great game. Um, in my opinion, one of the best wrestling games I've ever played. And it's pretty much just like SmackDown 1, but slightly better. Um, more wrestlers to choose from. I've never been really huge into wrestling, but when I was a kid, I kind of liked wrestling. Um, when I went to elementary school, my friend Kevin, he really liked wrestling, and... Um, I think this game was his game, and he lent it to me, and um, I guess he never wanted it back. <laughs> the World Wrestling Federation. That's Ladies and gentlemen, this is proof anything can happen in the World Wrestling Federation. Yeah, this is back in the days when it was WWF. Right, camera five, camera seven, it has like full motion video, video of the wrestlers. Welcome to SmackDown! Oh my God, this is great! All right. And yeah, I like wrestling a little bit. Back in the day, I think my favorites were Triple H, and then The Undertaker. And um, Chris Jericho. I've seen Chris Jericho live. He has a band called Fozzy. They're a really good rock band. Right, I'll show you a match. 
if you smell. She has a lot of wrestlers choose from. Even ones that are dead. <laughs> well, it's like a 20 year old game. kinds of wrestling mode like um, regular hardcore where you can use chairs and stuff as weapons um, I think it has like cage matches one I think it skipped because it it's really, it's scratched the disc, but it still plays. But it skips on some of the intro songs and cutscenes. I'll try to skip past it. Yeah, I might need to get this disc resurfaced because it's really scratched, but um, it does still work. skips on these music scenes. Here's the Undertaker. Alright, let's see if I can get to the match. Yeah, I might have to get this disc resurfaced. Um, I know a guy at the flea market that'll resurface it for $3. And there's like retro game store called Regem. They resurface discs for like four or five dollars. No. Undertaker won. Alright, well that was number four. Now it's time for 
Number three. Number three is Final Fantasy VII, one of the greatest turn-based RPGs of all time. And I wonder if it still has my save file. I don't think I got almost all the way to the end, but I couldn't beat Sephiroth. Um, but yeah, it's a great turn-based JRPG, uh, really good story. Um, it was uh, really good graphics for the time, but graphics are dated, so they did a remake of Final Fantasy VII, which looks really good on PS4, um, and it's on PS5 too. But yeah, this is one of the games, um, it's not my first JRPG, my first JRPG was like probably Pokemon, and I played Final Fantasy 4 before this one, but th when I played this, I really started to get addicted to JRPGs, and um, it made me want to try more Squaresoft. JRPGs like um, Dragon Quest and Chrono Trigger and this has great music um, let's see if I can continue from my old save. Oh, I think my old save file was on a different PlayStation 3. Yeah, my old save file was on a different PlayStation 3, so I can't continue from where I was with Sephiroth. I have to insert disc one. Yeah, this is one of the PlayStation one games that has like three discs um because it's a really big game a really long game uh, but it's a really good game yeah it's like this evil company shinra is like draining the energy of the planet um, and Cloud used to work as a soldier for Shinra, um, but then he, um, starts working with Barrett and Tifa, which are in a group called Avalanche, which is about saving the planet, and they're against the Shinra Corporation. show you some of like the battles in the end game and in the maybe the beginning of the boss battle with Sephiroth but the final boss but, um, maybe I'll just show some of the beginning cutscenes and stuff. But yeah this is like a lot of people say this is one of the best games of all time, and uh, it definitely has all the qualities of a great game, great story, and it has like emotional moments. Like,
changed the remake from a turn-based RPG to an action RPG. This one is turn-based. There's like people from Avalanche. There's Barrett. trying to stop them. And Avalanche hired Cloud to, to help them. Cloud's like fighting soldiers with guns with, with just his big ass sword. Jesse, you can't tell, but that's a chick. <laughs> can't tell with these graphics, but it's a really good game. And the music is great. Uh, but that's all I'll show this game. I was hoping I could show you a later part, uh, but I lost my save file because my other PlayStation 3 stopped working. I did beat the Final Fantasy remake though, but the remake is only part of the game. It's only the part when you're in that city. But now it's time for number two, Crash Bandicoot Warp. Crash Bandicoot is such a fun game, and this is the third one in the original series. They remade it into the um, Crash Insane Trilogy, which you can get on PS4 and Switch. Which is the same game, but better graphics. But yeah, Crash Bandicoot Warp is one of the best PlayStation games, in my opinion. Uh, really fun, challenging. Sony platform. Computer Entertainment America presents. Really fun and good. Music. A Universal Interactive Studios production. A game created and developed by Naughty Dog. Save file on this PlayStation. Um, yeah, it was one of my old. Just 
start a new game and show you the first level. So it has a really good variety of like platforming. Sometimes you're running and jumping through obstacles. Sometimes you ride a motorcycle. Sometimes you get to play as Crash's sister, Coco, and ride on a tiger. Crash, crash, crash. Why must you always muck in my mud? There's the bad oh, guys. Oh, look, I have a mask helping me, too. We will find out which one is more powerful soon enough. <laughs> Boogas give you protection, so you can get hit once without dying. If you get hit without a Booga Booga, then you're dead. Booga. And then you can go to the uh, mystery bonus areas to get extra lump of fruit. And I think on the new Crash games, you can get trophies for collecting all the lump of fruit and breaking all the boxes. And Crash Bandicoot back in the day was like Sony's mascot. Um, now it's on all systems like Nintendo and Xbox. But on the original PlayStation, this was like Sony's competition for Mario. There's even like commercials like saying, watch out Mario. <laughs> the guy dressed up in a grass costume. Gotta collect these crystals. Yeah, it's a really fun game. Maybe I'll show one more level so you can see the variety. The first level isn't that great, but it gets a lot better as it goes on. And the boss battles are fun. Yeah, there's underwater levels. Orient Express, that's when you can ride the tiger play as Coco. These levels are really fun. And the motorcycle races are fun too. She's like riding a tiger on the Great Wall of China. These levels are really fun. Crash is like one of the best platformers. I probably like Mario games a little bit more because I, I grew up with Nintendo first. The first uh, console was Nintendo 64. But then after Nintendo 64, I got Game Boy and then I got PlayStation 1. These 
brothers are really cool on this. They can be quite challenging in the later parts of the game. This level is easy now. Crash Team Racing, you can um, use the Tiger as one of the characters. But yeah, that's number two. One of the greatest games of all time. One of the greatest games on the PlayStation. Alright, now before we get to number one, I'll have some honorable mentions. Um, one honorable mention I have is Kingsley's Adventure, which is a hidden gem on PlayStation 1. Not many people talk about this game, but... uh it's a really good game um you're like a fox with a sword and a shield so it's kind of a venture game like zelda um similar to zelda but also similar to banjo kazooie because it has like funny characters that like make noises while you read the words they're saying like <laughs> well, they make like funny noises while they're talking, but yeah, it's a great game and a hidden gem, uh, and one of my favorites on PlayStation One. Another honorable mention I have is a game that I only have the demo of because it's an extremely rare and expensive game on PlayStation One, and that is Tail Concerto. And I only have the demo. I used to have the cardboard slip case for the demo, but I lost that. And this was really scratched because I had it when I was a kid. And I didn't, I must have not taken good care of it. But I recently got it resurfaced. So it should work good. I'll show you a little bit of this game. Now, if I had had the full game. This would probably be on my top five because it's a really good game. Uh, but I only have the demo, so. And the demo only lets you play like maybe the first 30 or 40 minutes of the game. But it's a really good game. And there's like a sequel or successor to this game on the DS. Um, it's called Salata Robo. Oh uh, yeah, it only lets you play 20 minutes of this game, but this is a really fun game. And Salata Robo on the DS is expensive and rare too, but there's a 510 in one DS cartridge you can get on eBay or Amazon. Um, and it's really cheap, like $15, and it has Salata Robo on it. And this game is published by At Atlas, and a lot of Atlas games are expensive. Now that's what I call a good night's sleep. That dream reminded me of... I'm pretty sure this game is like over $500 for a complete copy these days, which is insane. Hello? What? The Black Cat's gang is attacking Rosaka? Packs of kittens are tearing up the town? And this 
guy is like a police officer, and he uses like a robot neck thing to fight the bad guys. my day off. It's a dirty job, but some dogs gotta do it. Rezica Harbor. <laughs> so rare that even even the demo is worth money. I think I I've seen the demo on eBay for like thirty dollars. Oh yeah, so you go around in this robot next thing. Oh and then you shoot these balls. The kittens are vandalizing the warehouses. Hurry up and capture them, please. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you gotta capture the kittens with the bubbles. So in the demo, you catch all the bad kittens, and then after that, you have to fight a boss battle with the black cat gang. All right, well, that's all I'm going to show for this game. Now it's time for number one. The number one game on PlayStation 1, in my opinion, is Spyro Year of the Dragon. Uh, the Spyro games are really awesome. Uh, great adventure games. You get to control Spyro the Dragon. A little purple dragon who breathes fire and... 
fights bad guys. And this is the third game in the series. And probably the best, in my opinion. The second game is really good, too. But in this game, you can also play as different characters. Uh, not just Spyro. There's, like, I don't know if you can see on the back. I think it's too dark. But there's different characters, like Sheila the Kangaroo. And there's a Yeti. And um, a monkey called Agent Nine. And you have to save the dragon eggs from the evil sorceress and her minions. And you can also get this game on on Switch and PS4 and Xbox with the Spyro Reignited Trilogy. villain emerges we managed to capture the eggs your highness every last one excellent maybe you will amount to something after all now go guard the tunnels stop anyone from coming through Desperate rescue begins. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The forgotten worlds. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on, let's go! Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. Adventure begins. And Spyro can go to all these different worlds through portals. You gotta collect the gems. Oh yeah, and then collect the eggs. Later in the game, there's even a level where Spyro can skateboard. Hi, Spyro. To look left or right? Blah, blah, blah. So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, Dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. Do I make myself clear? If I... <laughs> <laughs> so 
So you can go to different worlds through the portals. And there's usually some uh, race of people or animals you gotta help. Oh my, oh my, Ooh, can you help us? Hordes of ferocious Thrinox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor. is too big to charge. You'll oh, have yeah, to blame him using the circle. for the help, but I think I would have worn him down in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for rescuing my town. As mayor, I award you with one of our famous giant chicken eggs. <laughs> a giant chicken eggs. Spyro, I found this gladiator training arena, and it makes a pretty cool skate park. Care for a <laughs> test of your boarding it makes skill? makes a pretty cool skate park, man. I bet you can't catch all 15 of the lizards running around here. Just come back if you want some boarding tips from the master. Yeah, this game's awesome. It has, like, all kinds of stuff. Battles,
my favorite PlayStation 1 games. Um, let me know in the comments what are your favorite PlayStation 1 games. That was the great. Lizard. And while you were boarding, I found this in a lizard burrow. All right, if you can catch all the lizards without wiping out and before time runs out, oh, I yeah. might be able to scrounge up another egg. It's not going to be easy, though. Yeah, it keeps getting more challenging. I think after you catch the lizards again, you just like try to score a bunch of points by doing tricks. Anyway, yeah, that's my top five favorite PlayStation 1 games of all time. Um, next time, I'll do the top five PS2 games, and then I'll go PS3 and then PS4. And I guess maybe every once every month or two I'll do uh, top five games of a console. And after PlayStation, I'll go back to Nintendo consoles. All right. Well, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please um, like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day. Comment what your favorite PlayStation games are. Thanks for watching.